What you're looking at is a scene that's about uh, a total width, about 250 miles across, 400 kilometers. Uh, and these mountains soar as high above th their local terrain as um, many of the mountains in the Rocky Mountains do uh, here in the United States. Uh, this scene is just as wide, 250 miles across, gives you a feel for the scale of the features that you were looking at. Really beautiful, uh, beautiful surfaces. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of this. This is 400 meter per pixel uh, imagery. And uh, uh, by next week, we'll have more than twice as much as the, the three frames that we've already been able to share by the end of today. Well, while you enjoy this, this beautiful eye candy, uh, the Pluto Sharon system is revealed by New Horizons uh, in color. Uh, you really see a binary planet. Enjoy that view while I tell you a little bit of news about New Horizons. The spacecraft is doing very well. As Jim said, we're now a little, little over 2 million miles on the far side of Pluto. Spacecraft's performing according to plan. I'll have to tell you, I'm a little biased, but I think the solar system saved the best for last. <laughs> Okay, that's not very many pixels across, but that's Pluto's satellite Nix in its first well-resolved image. Now, let's, let's set our expectations properly. Uh, as little as uh, three months ago, we didn't have pictures of Pluto this good. In this view, we believe we're looking roughly down the pole of an elongated object, kind of looking down the barrel of it right there. So that's, that's a New Horizons map product overlaid with contours for the abundance of this carbon monoxide. The global view shows some surfaces on Pluto are peppered with impact craters and are therefore relatively ancient, perhaps of several million year, billion years old. Whereas other regions, such as the interior of the heart, which, we, which we've now named Tumbaugh Regio, show no craters at all, and are thus, you know, obviously younger. Thus, all of this suggests that Pluto's experienced a long and complex geological history. decided to um, name Sputnik Planum after the first artificial satellite uh, launched into space and thus beginning the, the space age. Uh, and Norgi Montes, of course, is after the Nepalese Sherpa who went up the uh, Mount Everest with Edmund Hillary and is the first Nepalese to have a name on any planet in the solar system.